<laughs> Alright. So, this is going to be a continuation of the tutorial that I that my game crashed on. I'm playing it on an emulator this time, just in case it crashes again. I don't want to have to deal with that bullshit. So, I am playing it on an emulator now. Uh, whereas, I can use save states, as you can see, as soon as I click the window. As you can see, in the corner there, I can choose which one to load and whatnot. Okay. So, where we left off was at the second subgate, right? I just finished the first subgate, so I'm going to start from here and go to the second one and continue the tutorial there. So, after the first subgate, you're going to want to call roll, have her come pick you up. Not leave the car, like an idiot. So, disregard that. But, you're going to talk to Roll, and go to downtown. As you can see, the loading is much, much slower on an emulator than it is on a slim PS2 with fast disk speed. Which is why you play on a PS2 with fast disk speed. Anyways, once you leave the car, you'll come over here to the second subgate, where it will not crash because this is an emulator. Oh boy. Anyways, the second subgate. I think I did the second subgate. I can't remember anymore. Either way, I'll do it again. Normally, you wouldn't fight two enemies at a time here, but I'm going to. This is why. do not want this. Okay, I killed him. Anyways, you would fight one enemy at a time, starting with this guy. Usually the, uh, the guy that runs doesn't spawn, or doesn't come at you right away. Anyways, you kill the one guy first, and then take out these guys. Because they're a pain in the ass, they run after you, they're faster than you, and they're just generally hard to deal with. So you want to take care of them first, if possible. If not, you do have your sniper scope on. No, you don't have your sniper scope. You do have range with your buster now because of our equips. So you can take them out from kind of a distance. Basically, you just take these guys out one by one. They're not that hard to deal with. It's not as bad as the first subgate because they're not spread around. Which is pretty fortunate for us. And again, strafe walking to get where you need to go. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot. No. Nah. Not throw bombs. Here you can see a lot better example of the stutter shot that I've been talking about. Just, just like that. Then there should be one more guy right back here. Oh, oh, he moved. Where did he go? Ah, oh, he's probably way over here. Usually the last guy is behind the, uh, well sometimes. Where is he? He's usually back here in this corner. I don't know where he is now. That's strange. Oh, he's right there. Okay. But this is a much better example of the stutter shot. Notice how fast the bullets are coming out? As opposed to shooting normally. You do the stutter shot. It's just a faster way of shooting them all. It helps out a lot in the speedrun. Come in here, grab the key. That's two. Key two out of three. Shoot straight back across and leave the door you came in. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. When you're using your jet skates, hold forward and you will go faster. If you don't hold forward, it is slower. So you want to hold forward. Strafe wide, it, the diagonal doesn't work with the jet skates, but holding forward does make you go faster. That's what you want to do. <laughs> and then... Uh, no, you don't even call roll. My bad. You don't call roll. You leave the gate and head over west. The next subgate is right next door to you. I almost got got. God, these loading scenes, these loading scenes, loading zones are atrocious. Enter the subgate right outside the door and you're faced with this big caterpillar dude. You're gonna want to get behind him and you do have to shoot the enemies. You have to kill them or the boss will not die even if you drain his health. 
the enemies have to die, it is a requirement. Oh, also, you're gonna want to use your hyper cartridge in the first subgate if you still have it, which I did in this save state actually. And this boss is, it's mini boss, it's pretty simple. Just stay behind him, shoot the enemies that he poops out, and then shoot his butthole. Eventually it'll explode, and you just keep wearing him down. This guy's not too bad. If you're good, you can time it right. Um, it's kind of tricky, but if you shoot his butt at the right time, you can shoot him with like two or three of your active buster missiles, and it'll stay open and it'll take a lot, or deal a lot of damage as opposed to just shooting him. But either way, you're just gonna have to follow him around for a while. Every time it gets destroyed, just catch back up to him. See? It's not necessarily random when he, uh, closes his butt, but it's not a certainty that you're actually going to deal a lot of damage. Feel free to waste all your active buster ammo here too, it's not that important. You recharge before the last boss fight anyways. There we go. He's dead. Your gate will be right here on the right side of the map. Or your building, gate, whatever. Go ahead, grab your key. Take off. Then you leave to the right. Now that we have all three keys, we're gonna go fight Mega Man Juno. So get hyped for that. Once you leave, go ahead and call roll. And you're gonna have her take you to the main gate. Because we're at the end of the game, just about. God, these loading. They're the loading, man. It's so bad. Ugh. Anyways, watch out for the cat again. Go ahead, head down. And just do the thing from, from earlier. Just. Choo. Slide on down, boy. However, it is different now. Instead of having the single enemies, you're gonna have two enemies. Oops, it's the next one down. My bad. Two enemies. Oh, that was a silly mistake. You're gonna want to stop skating to jump over them. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm making mistakes. You get two enemies, one enemy, and then two enemies again. You can just jump right between them. If you're really good, you can skate between them, but it's it's a lot harder. It's just safer to jump in between them. From here, huh? just go ahead. You go right to your right and open up the doors. Kind of obvious, really. Not quite Juno time. We have a couple more areas to walk through real quick. Burden. Kill him or not, it doesn't matter. I don't like skating through here either because of this guy. What's up, DJ? And this guy. I don't like skating through this area because of them. How are you doing, man? And then same thing with here. If you walk too close to that refractor, you do get a cutscene or dialogue. So try not to walk too close to it. And while you can skate through here as well, I'm not going to for the purpose of showing you the right way. Take your first right, second left, and then just follow that around. There are five paths that you can get lost in if you're not careful. And then, bada boom bada bing, we got the final boss, baby. Make sure you charge with data. And I am actually going to do a save state here as well. Just in case I die. I already have one, but I'm going to make another one. I'm doing pretty good. And now, now it's time for the final boss. Um, I'm going to say a couple tips real quick. One, when you first start up the boss fight, take one step forward and then just shoot him with your active buster for a little bit. If you watch me, you'll notice when I move. But you have to take a step forward or else you will not hit him. Two, 
Um, I forgot what else I was gonna say. There is a sec there was a second thing that I was gonna say, but I can't remember. Uh, anyways, there is a third one that I'm gonna say. Three. You have on the on Juno's first form, you have three hits until you die. On a second form, and if you have full health, you have two hits until you die. So you can afford to get hit once on the first form, and then you get hit once more on the second form, and then your third hit, you're dead, no matter what. So, try not to take any damage, but if it's unavoidable, you're safe for at least two hits. At least. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. His second form. Juno's second form, the active buster does the same damage as your normal buster. There is no reason to use it. Your act, your normal buster will go faster and deal the same amount of damage. So if you want to risk it, feel free to use your active buster, but I recommend against it. Anyways, let's do the thing. That's Juno. Take a step forward, shoot him, and watch out. Now from here on out, I'm never going to use the active buster. When he shoots the laser, just jump in place and mash. Or not mash, but shoot the fuck out of him. And when he does this, you can stand in place and walk to the side when his arms start moving. And just shoot him. If you see. Stand there, walk to the side when they move, and you can shoot him the entire time. Every time he jumps, you want to jump as well, because he does do shockwaves. Half of these fight, or half of this fight is audio. Oh yeah, when he appears, you want to jump for that shockwave, and then you can shoot him for a bit. But uh, I want to say a good 80% of this fight is audio cues, because he tells you what attack he's going to do, basically. Jump, and just keep shooting. Mega Man Juno is a hard boss, man. Oh, I almost got got there. Alright, first form's down. Now the second form, you're not going to want to stand still and shoot. You're going to want to try and circle around him the entire time. Trust me. If you keep circling, it's hard for him to hit you. You do have to jump as well. So the second form is fucking hard. Right when you start, you can shoot him a little bit, and then just start moving around. When he dashes at you like that, you're going to want to jump out of the way. Jump when that ball lands, too, because sometimes it shoots out little path things, and sometimes it doesn't. That was stupid. He's going to, when he jumps normally, he jumps twice and then jumps to the center. Go ahead and shoot him. Basically, for every attack except this jump, you're going to want to, you're going to want to jump as well. He does not teleport as the first form does either, so you don't have to worry about that. But this fight, it's just basically a lot of practice. It is the hardest fight in the game. Go ahead and start a shot him when you can. Just keep moving around in circles. That's all you can do. This attack, you're going to want to jump right away and then just start moving around. This is unfortunate for me because I can't get behind him, so I'm going to have to circle back the other way. But usually you're just going to want to go around. And then just keep dodging. That's all you can do at this point. Take this fight slow. You do not want to get cocky and die at the end of your run. It is the worst thing you can do. Okay, it's good that he's in the center this time because now I can just circle around and not have to worry about direction. And he's dead. Easy peasy. Do not stop your time there. That is not the end of the game. That is not the end of control. You'll skip the last couple cutscenes. So your timer should stay running right now. Skip the last couple cutscenes.
And then, oh yeah, and if you die during phase two, you have to redo phase one. Most of the time, you'll just reset because it fucks up your in-game time, because you're going to be reloading. But if you do decide to reload and go through, you do have to destroy phase one again. Anyways, your time stops, you talk to roll, and as soon as you hit yes, you would stop your time. So, that would be time. Thank you so much. For now we're going to sit through these credits because I'm curious as to what my final time was. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. See you later, Amelia. Cheese. Can't skip this cutscene, by the way. Anyways, to wrap up the run, you uh you got to practice your strafe Bye. walking, your stutter shot. Those are two very important things. Um Try and start memorizing the items you will need to beat the game. There's quite a few that you need. Uh, Zenny locations, you need to remember those as well. Um, for boss fights, they're pretty simple. Just don't die. And on Juno especially, take your time. Take your time. You do not want to get cocky. You do not want to try and stand there and shoot them. You will get hit. You will die. Uh, once you get confident at this game, once you once you get good and you can beat them like I did without taking a hit. I mean, technically I got hit once, but we're not going to count that. Don't worry. Just forget I ever got hit. When you can just when you can kill him without taking a hit, then you would start trying more and more ways to damage him faster. As in. Not moving around as much, doing more stutter shots, just generally doing faster. Uh, until that point, just take it slow and careful to make sure you don't die. Okay. What is it? Whoa! Whoa! Left! Left! I'm gonna see if I can fast forward the simulator. By the way. How do I speed it up, man? I don't know how to speed it up. Hey, everybody! Hmm. Anyways. I just realized I got rid of my chat there for a minute. Um, in a Japanese version is faster for a multitude of reasons. One, it's, it has better control. I don't really know what that means. I've never played it, but the guy who holds the world record says it has a lot better control than the English version. <laughs> so you can play it faster in general. And two, it has cutscenes you can skip that you cannot skip in the English version. And as far as I know, there might be different items I can't remember. But uh, the Mega Man Legends runners have talked about it quite a bit. We do consider the Japanese version a separate category. Oops. Oops, I almost spilled my coffee. So, yeah, basically, if you're gonna run English 80% normal, it's a different category than Japanese 80% normal. And while we're waiting for my in game time to pop up, because keep this in mind as well, in game time does not count uh, loading zones. So your in-game time is going to be roughly 4%, 4%, 4 minutes overall faster than your RTA. But you never know for sure until you get through the credits, which you cannot skip. So, while we're waiting, I went out and got a new PlayStation 2 controller. I'm going to set that stuff up for my runs that I'm about to do on Twitch, not YouTube. While we're waiting. So, I'll be back. I mean, it's all right here, but I'm going to mute my microphone.
Let's go. That's it. All right, now that that's open. Yeah. Fucking, I hate blister packages, man. Like they suck. They want to go out fighting just like Corden Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Teasel's the best voice actor in the world. Or Teasel's voice actor is the best in the world. I fucking love Teasel. I also got a PlayStation 1 memory card. that I desperately needed. Oh, now I feel bad. I bought it used. I don't know if you guys can read that. Matthew's Time Busters game. Oh, that sucks. Somebody no! traded in their Time Busters memory card. What's up, boys? We're waiting for my in-game time right now. I mean, this part of the YouTube video is probably going to be pretty boring. I just sit here not doing really anything. <sighs> but yeah, check out my new controller, guys. It's not an officially sa sanctioned Sony controller. But hey, it can't be that bad. What's up, Fixio? You came just in time for the end of a YouTube video. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Raid. Oh my god, it's Dr. Ryder. I haven't seen him in like fucking a year. Hi, Ryder. How have you been? Two man raid is better than none, man. Oh, shout outs. Or no, I'm gonna plug my YouTube channel right now. Because this is going on YouTube right here, guys. So if you go down below, it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash the seeking. I've had this lip ring for seven months, Fixio. Come on, man. What's up, Billiam? Nice raid right at the end of my YouTube video. It's gonna be weird seeing it on YouTube like this. If you can't tell, I'm plugging YouTube as much as possible so you guys go watch it. You didn't kill Hyper. Hyper's been dead for a year now, Ryder. It's not your fault. Fixio, you. I, I cam almost every time I stream, man. You've been here after I've gotten it. I know you have. Here we go! End game time. Let's go. Oh, wait. There's another cutscene. Damn. Can we skip this one? No, we can't. Son of a bitch. <sighs> yeah, pretty much, DJ, yeah. Well, there they go. There Not they there go. In the world. Hey, Tron, can't this thing go any faster? No, it can't. I oh, did you? Finally, man. I've been waiting for that to happen. I'm not being mean, but seriously, I've been waiting for it. We'll just have to rough it until oh, we get man. To the next this new controller feels so good. We'll oh, thank you, DJ. I appreciate we'll that, man. Like it doesn't feel as good as a normal PS2 controller. Like a Sony PS2 controller. But it feels good. Such a huge it's not as there. good. And all we had to do was just oh, it's a hell of a lot louder, too. I told you we'd have the last laugh. Alright. <laughs> So are you telling me that you stream on your channel, Ryder? Assuming we make it to the next island without sinking. Oh well, at least he's in a good mood. Just waiting for the end game time, and then I'll be done here. You win a virtual high five. If you didn't slap it, you're a loser. How about that, Mega Man Legends 2? I have no intentions of streaming it. For those of you that don't know, I'm a speedrunner. I speedrun video games. I 
I do not speed run Mega Man Legends 2. Yeah, I know it's to be continued. Show me my time. 124.09. Oh god, that's terrible. Blech. Okay. Let me... Let me write down this time and we'll be good.